Hey guys, Jerry here, we're gonna be doing some more Halo gameplay, except for this time we're going to be doing some Halo Reach, and we're going to be doing my favorite thing in Halo Reach, and that is Elite Slayer. Um, I have a lot of fun playing Elite Slayer, but it never gets voted. Uh, people absolutely never vote Elite Slayer. Now this is my first time playing on this level, so I had no idea where I was going. Uh, it's one of the Forge levels they threw in there, and usually I'm not a big fan of the Forge levels, usually I'm not a fan of the layout of them, but I actually really liked, uh, liked this level. And I also usually use the first class, like I was just using there, and just noob combo it up, which is always incredibly effective. Uh, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Choose the uh, the Needler class, and uh, cloak around a bit. And it actually was incredibly effective, so much so that I ran out of Needler ammo and had to pull out another gun. Um, so I like to use all the classes, it's just the noob combo is always a good one to use. Uh, this class is also a really good class to use as well, because you're invisible, and a lot of the weapons like the Needler can't lock onto you when you're invisible. So, uh, people will be just sitting there trying to shoot you and they won't lock on. And you see there I ran out of ammo for getting a decent amount of kills. And I had to pick up someone's needle rifle and the uh, plasma pistol and use that. <laughs> which, you know, it's always effective and now I'm cloaking, you know, I have the cloak which I don't think I even used when I picked up other guns. I didn't think I had it, I must have forgot. Uh, but yeah, I, I usually don't use this class at all, but it's still effective. But as I was saying though, I love Elite Slayer and it reminds me of how as much as as hyped as I am for Halo 4 and as good as the multiplayer in Halo 4 looks like I, I kind of talked about this last video Halo 4 looks like they're trying to bring back the competitive nature of the older Halo and more specifically Halo 1 where it was much less about map control and picking up the fucking rocket launcher and the sniper and controlling the whole map which to me is incredibly cheap and stupid um, it much more looks like they're going to be going more the Halo 1 route where no matter what gun you have, you can still win. Uh, because Mainly in Halo 1 it was because that pistol just negated any power weapon. But yeah, it looks like it's going to have a lot more kind of one-on-one type stuff. And I'm excited about that, but the only thing I'm really not too excited about in Halo 4 is the fact that you can't play as a fucking Elite. Why not? Why, why not just do what they did here and have like an Elite Slayer game mode and have its own kind of game type and see how many people actually play it? I'd love to still be an Elite. Um, I know a lot of people that don't care about the Elite Slayer game modes. Personally, myself, I, I love them. Uh, I always played as an Elite ever since Halo 2, so, you know, I'd like to see Elites come back, but no, they decided we're not going to because people complain about the hitboxes and people just don't, you know, they complain too much. I'm like, hey, find a way to work it in. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to play as an Elite, and I know they're not going to be a bigger role in, uh, in the single player. I know it's going to be more about the Forerunners and all that stuff, but why not? You know, it's not Halo without Elites, so... Uh, that's just my, my own personal gripe. I'd love to have Elites back. But, oh, I guess we're going to have to settle for it. Hopefully the game will be great. Uh, I've never been so hyped about a game, about a Halo game since Halo 2. Um, so, that says something. Usually I don't get hyped about something. And uh, it brings up another interesting topic. Usually when a new Halo game comes out, you have an interesting conversation. Because you don't know what's going to happen. The, every Halo game changes. Uh, and meanwhile, you know, Black Ops 2 is coming out in the same timeline. We kind of already know what to expect. I looked at the multiplayer trailer and I was nice and didn't yoink that kill from that guy. See, I'm not an asshole. Um, now, I saw the Black Ops multiplayer trailer and it was sort of all common sense to me of what it was going to be. I mean, at one point in the video, I even saw basically the flying version of an RCXD. So, I mean, everything looks like it's going to be kill streaks that have just sort of been reworked to be back into Black Ops 2, and uh, you know, nothing to expect. And this, this really annoyed me, so this laser beam does no fucking damage, he has no shield, I put so much laser into him, and then he's right in front of me and he melees me, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> rage, all the rage. But yeah, talking about Black Ops 2, if you went, if you haven't seen the multiplayer trailer, go look at it, and I'm really indifferent about it, you know, I don't absolutely despise Black Ops, I hate the fan base. I'll tell you that, but I don't despise Black Ops, I, I don't hate it because usually Treyarch at least tries to make the game more balanced. And as I said, it looks like it's going to be a more gimmicky version of the original Black Ops in the future. Flying RCXD, um, the flashbangs look to be so, like some sort of kind of EMP grenade type things. And the stupid fucking tomahawks are back, that's one thing to get annoyed at. I hate the one-hit kill bullshit out of nowhere. But yeah, it's uh... There's, there's nothing more to say about it. You don't have a conversation with what's coming out in Black Ops 2. You don't have this interesting conversation of, hey look, it's an entirely new game. Uh, whereas, you know, with the new every new Halo game that comes out, you can have that conversation, because in Halo 4, we don't know what to expect. It's entirely different than Halo Reach. Uh, and Halo Reach was entirely different than Halo 3, and Halo 3 was kind of different than Halo 2. 
uh, they don't play similar at all. So, I mean, we have that conversation and they always try to add in new things. And I may not always agree with Bungie and 343 about what they should add in, what's balanced and what isn't. Um, but hey, at least they try. They try to put out a new game, they try to change it. Every single game has updated graphics. I think this is the first Halo game where they haven't updated the graphics because they can't. Uh, the 360 wouldn't be able to handle anything more, to be completely honest. I mean, Reach, even Reach at times, kind of makes your 360 lag a little bit. And the frames will drop a little bit below 30 frames a second. Um, but you know, Reach looks fine and I'm perfectly okay with the grit, this engine. Uh, so I, I'm just waiting for the next console generation so us PC users stop getting fucked over by it. But yeah, there you go. There's a uh, Elite Slayer game. I got 22 kills. It was an okay game for me not knowing what I was doing on that level. And uh, vote more Elite Slayer.